In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the various preferences inside of Flash FXP. Let's begin by selecting the Options menu. And from that menu, select the Preferences option. As you can see, the various preferences are organized into different categories. You have the General, Connection, Transfer, and Interface options. The general preferences include such items as actions, view and edit file, sound events, options, confirmations, live update, and logging. And your connection preferences include things such as the proxies you will be using, identities, controlling the amount of time that a connection remains alive, the type of data connections made to your FTP server, SFTP encryption, and so forth. Let's take a look at the actions area. Here we can select what happens when we drag and drop, whether we want the item to become part of the queue or do we want to immediately transfer. By default this is already set to transfer. We can control what happens when we double click on a file. We can either execute it, add it to the queue, transfer it, edit the file. We can also control what happens when we do dragging and dropping operations from the main explorer area into the user interface. By default your files will go into queue. Now let's take a look at the general interface area. Under toolbars you can control what the background color is, you can choose a file to use as your background, you can control the colors of your various buttons and under the file browser you have the options to control different ways of viewing the files within the user interface. As you can see Flash FXP is highly configurable. Take a moment to sort through all the different options and tweak the software to your own particular taste. Congratulations you now know how to configure your preferences inside of Flash FXP.